Welcome back to your hour. Paul Rosales joins us from Remax Realty Professionals, and we've you've been kind of having an ongoing series on getting a house ready for sale. Mm -hmm. And so, tell us where we left off. And um, we were talking about we started with the exterior of the house. Mm -hmm. You know how you got to paint the outside and take care of the the landscaping and make sure the yard and everything's well taken care of. Same thing on the inside, like what we talked about last week. You want to make sure that you have some nice neutral colors inside. You want to make sure that the house is not in living condition, but in kind of a museum type state. I see. You know, there's there's the way that we live, and then there's the way, for example, if you're going to entertain, mm -hmm. a lot of people will clean their house up before they entertain. Get it ready for people to come over. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. You're inviting people to come over to your house. So that's kind of what we touched on last time. So you've, you've got the outside of the house all taken care of, and then you've got the inside looking nice, spick and span. Uh, I think I ended last time talking about uh, declutter the house. Mm. Get everything out of there, because it's so much easier to make the house look uh, more appealing when it's not full of your stuff. Mm -hmm. You're going to be moving. Pack everything up that you're not going to be using in the next three months. Uh, pack it up. Get it in boxes, get it stored away, nice and neat, like if you're going to be storing it in a storage area in the basement, make it look nice and neat. You want to have a nice, neat appearance for the house at all times, because mm -hmm. again, you can have a showing come out of nowhere. Somebody might be in town and they didn't think much of your house online, but when they're driving through the neighborhood, they might be, well, none of these other houses are working for me, what about that one? They may be in town for one day and their agent may call up and say, hey, can we show that in 30 minutes? Because mm -hmm. we're in the area, you know, they've got to be on their plane back in four hours. They don't have time to come back, whatever it might be. You want to be ready for something like that mm -hmm. as much as possible. So make sure your house is in uh, a good, good, clean state. What, uh, what I tell clients is uh, after dinner, before you go to bed, take some time. Instead of just sitting down and watching TV, Walk around for, for 15 minutes to 30 minutes, getting the house ready. Everything gets put away. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the night, you're not rushing around trying to do it. You wake up in the morning, you're not trying to put stuff away when you got to get to work. It's just a lot less stressful, and it gives you a chance to, you know, work off the food you just had. There you go. So it's a good good tip that I'd like to tell my clients, get that taken care of. That mm -hmm. way you're not, uh, that way if, if a showing does occur, you're not thinking, well, you know, they can do that, but... I sure didn't clean the house last night. Mm -hmm. It's not much fun. You yeah. want to be able to be like, yeah, sure, the house is in great shape. That's what you'd rather do. Well, and, and by having it decluttered, people are probably, it, it's easier for them to picture their own things in your in the space. The house looks bigger, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks much bigger. If you have a lot, um, go to a, uh, a brand new house someday. Uh, that, that's, that's just come on the market, a, a new built home. There's not a whole bunch of stuff around. You know, mm -hmm. they've got some nice things that, that are, might be some pictures on the walls, might be some staging going on, but they don't have all kinds of things like bills and books and all kinds of stuff lying around. Mm -hmm. That's how a house should look for a showing. Walk through a new housing development, see how they do it. That's what you want to emulate. They've done, the, the, the builders associations around the country have put a lot of money into figuring out how to make that brand new house as appealing as possible when compared to uh, other houses. They mm -hmm. want to be the house. And that's what they do. They look beautiful. It's one of the main reasons new houses sell. If they were cluttered, do you think anybody <laughs> would buy them? Probably not. Um, so you just want to have your house look like a brand new house as much as possible. Even mm -hmm. though it might be 50 years old or 90 years old, you want to make sure the house is in good shape uh, in, in t inside and out. Um, the uh, One of the most important things about getting a house uh, sold is the price and that's something that I'm going to touch on a little bit we might go more in depth on it next time statistically speaking 30% uh, of all houses do not sell the first time they're listed there's some big yeah it's, it's a surprising statistic mm -hmm. um, there, there's a few reasons out there why they won't biggest is price if you're priced in the top one-third of the market who's going to buy that house Another reason is condition. It's what kind of what we've been talking about. You want to get the you want to get the interior mm -hmm. and the exterior all put together. Make sure the house looks real nice. Make sure that there's no funny smells in the house. If you had fish for dinner on Thursday night, make sure the trash goes out in case there's any showings mm -hmm. Friday. You don't want the house having that fishy smell. Um, so that's one of the conditions. Use a little Febreze. No, just get the fish out of the house. <laughs> Nothing's worse than Febreze and fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, I meant you know. get the fish out of the house. But yes, then, but then, then you can go through and do that. Yeah. Um, so you have the price issue, you have the condition issue, and then you have a location issue. There's really nothing mm -hmm. we can do about location. Mm -hmm. Location's location. 
that's what real estate's about a lot. But going back to condition, um, you know, you, you want to make sure that, like I was saying, there's no funny smells in the mm -hmm. house. You don't have any surprises come up on inspections because that's all part of the condition. There's the initial perception that people have um, of, of how a house looks. Then they contract. Then they're going to get an inspection most likely. Mm -hmm. What I suggest for some people is um, get the inspection ahead of time. If we're going to put the house on the market and we're going to give it a good tight price that you know is right and we want to defend that price, we don't want any weird stuff coming up later that's going to eat into your um, eat into your proceeds from the sale. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe get a termite inspection. Maybe get a physical inspection on the house. If there's something wrong with the air conditioner, like there's a cracked heat exchanger, you want to know that. Mm -hmm. If there's termites, you want to know that because that kind of stuff can accumulate when it comes to selling your house, and you don't want to see that fly out the window when you've already negotiated a price. That's all part of the condition of a house. Well, and we'll talk about this a little more next week. Yep. Okay. Well, and we'll be back.